So, you can see we have a little bit of change of scenery. You can see we've built that big building over there. It's the biggest one I've done so far. Um, yeah, footprint wise, that Klaus has gone right over there. Thank you very much, Klaus. So that is our new school. It's quite a nice, um, easy build, I think. Well, it was easy because it was pretty much nearly all one block here and there. It just took a quite a long time to do the interior and uh, do the finer details. But, you know, not too bad. And also, whilst we're up here, you can see some new plans for a house over there. I think it's going to be like a bungalow type of build. Also over here is what's going to be a new bridge and there's going to be a little thing over there as well because which I'm going to tell you later. Show you later and I'll tell you and we sort of see that nice little lighthouse over there. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I think that's still a Really good build, I think it is. So let's go down and let's check out the school. So I'll just see if I can get this right. There we go. Oh, nearly. I can see use very different materials on this one bricks and the what's we call it? Stones. Uh, I think that was, um, I really need to get used to this, do it a different way. Yeah, it's this one here, St end stone. I've got a couple of lights on the entrance here. I also use the, oh, I don't mean to chuck that, did I? The, the, um, blah, blah, blah. Kerslin stone, I think that's what it said. Cobbles for the like playground area. Also got the um, windows, obviously, and we've got the bricks on the uh, outside with the iron balls things, steel things. Now we've got some nice. I like these doors, quite double doors, so we can just open a whole lot. So all the kids go in. We ain't got no kids at the moment. It's a shame ish to come into the hall down to the first level. So we've got some nice seats here made out of stone. Oh, no, stone, it was um, steps which were the dark mine, press mine, marina, press mina, press mina stones. And checkerboard, black and white surface. I think it was made out of um, quartz and I think it was wool. I think it was. I can't remember now. Into this nice lower levels. Yep. Yeah. Also got the um, quartz and the sandstone at the bottom decorated. For this corridor, we got also got a a bin over there. It's not quite finished. I want to do some more decorations in here. So this is the first room going to the geography, as you know. Yeah, it's not too bad. Got some pictures on the wall, just to spruce it up a little bit. Let make it look less barren. So we've been using these um, desk, which is the upside down wooden stairs and the stone stairs which I think is Ender. I think it was Ender. Let's see, yeah, these ones here. No, never, 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 never blocks. Was the seats and some tables. Again, using the a wooden block for the ceiling with the Ender rods. End rods. I've got a teacher's desk up here, so you can, you can teach up here. Probably going to put some books in here, bookshelves, so we can, you know, so people can learn. 
yeah, it's not too bad. Might dot some other pictures around. And we also got our map, which is a bit, bit more bigger because we've got this little side here, which I'm going to show you later. And this map will extend once we discover the world. So that's the geography. Now we just go on to this little area here, which is the English. Again, very simple layout. Didn't use the um, never blocks. We used the sand blocks. I think it was sand and some. Yeah, so it's very simple. Got a filing cabinet here, pictures on the wall, some books. It's not too bad. Oh yeah, these this floor was a never wart, and the other one was I think it's the other one's blue, wasn't it? The other one was the. Olympus Lulu Lexola, something like that. I don't know. So that's where the English come in. So we go over here, which is the maths class. Again, I went for a different design, so everything's in like a C formation. <coughs> so, and the d desk is in the front. No blackboards yet, because. Yeah, I have to redesign everything then to get that in. Got some books, pictures, like posters, meant to be posters, but yeah, pictures. And some pictures on the wall. So, yeah, different things. It's not too bad. This was a really dark room because it's got no windows in, so I put these windows, little slits of the windows in, so you can get some light in. So, yeah. And this is, I think it was one of these orange ones, one of the sandstones, I believe. I can't remember. I need to start putting them. Yep. And this is uh, another room which I've not named yet. It's much probably like an extra classroom. Very basic, no pictures yet. And we use this redstone block here so yeah and we got do have a little bit of a difficulty or a change because we've got one this inside and we've got an outside so we could always say this is the an extension of the building so if they come along and extended it that way so yeah we just got to come up with a, a proper room for that to what it's going to be called so as we move back to the corridor, go, oh, we're going upstairs using the steps we've got into a kind of like a lobby area, restroom for students and all that. So they can sit down here, do whatever. Got some pictures. This is the carpet, and the carpet was put carpet all the way on this top layer. We've got some people around somewhere. And we've got the art room, or the art class. You see we've got a lot of pictures on the wall, a lot of artwork. I use these as um, easels, not easel, yeah, it's no canvases, with people's art. So we can see people doing their artwork here. And it's got a kind of like a display here centerpiece for so somebody's there taking a lesson pretty cool so this is a fence post with uh, pictures on it and that's the basic yeah. this here is this one a block of emerald a flower pumpkin head and another head so that's basically the arts room. Never been. Again, gonna looking at putting more stuff in here. Probably might do some um, what's called it lockers. So this is the science class. 
we see it's again in a C or a semicircle. Got a lot of pictures up here. These are like books and test tubes and chemicals, all that. Again, little blocks. I'm going to say these are like um, pictures of blocks because it's like a classroom for science. They were using scaff scaffolding and the lathe. Not lathe, are they, they called lathe again? Lectern. Not oh, lathe, lectern. So stores in a kind of a thingy desk because we used to have uh, stools and high desks for science when I was in class in school. And then we go over to this section here, which is the last room. This is the most important room, which is the canteen. Oh yes, got this yellow carpet. Got a checkerboard carpet out there. And we've got a kitchen, fridge, workstations, cookers, sinks, no plates and cutlery and all that stuff, storage areas. So yeah, pretty cool. These are like the um, serving areas, so you can put your food in there to keep warm. Should could put some lighting on there. It might do that. And we've got some desks tables and chairs, this is like the um, what is it called, polished and estate and the sandstone I believe. So yeah, it's quite a nice big room, again split so they've, they've expanded, expanded the area <coughs> and we've got this wall and the thingies, what they call again, sea lanterns. I should have known that. In here, we've got a couple of bins. Might put uh, like a area here for cutleries and all that stuff. Maybe. So yeah, it's quite a nice big room. You can put fit quite a few people in here. Yeah, we, um, we use this. I think it's gold. I think this was. Yeah, gold. Gold oil. Or. So it's very classy. Very classy. So yeah, it's a canteen. Not put a sign up yet. But hey, so all this ceiling is the wall and the lanterns. And the top area, which is the roof. I have to go up to the roof in a minute. Let's go up to the roof. Is just black. And it's. um not coal, I think it was really obsidian, I think it was, something like that. We've got some visitors up here, shouldn't be up here, but that's what it is. I did put some visitors in the actual area, because I've got a little egg here, let me spawn him, there you go. wander around. I don't know where they've all gone to now. Are they all in here again? I think they always go in here. Ah, I've got one. Go on, join in uh, for a beer. But I don't know where all the rest are in. They on this bankly? That was somewhere. Might be upstairs. Oh. They're somewhere around. They also some, got some cats as well. Which are oh, there around? Ah, uh, there's one. Someone doing what he's doing. I've got have one in there. So I think they're all in there now. Yeah, I've got three in there. So yeah. So this is our next build, the next project. I've got some stairs leading up to the next area. It's quite nice. I like see what stair area. Is up to here. These are going to be our towers leading, securing a bridge over to our new mansion or castle area. It's going to be our hotel. So these are going to be towers. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. And we've got a bridge leading all the way over to the next area. 
game, this I've tried starting it. Trying to get a basic layout of it. So, yeah. I'm going to tr maybe try to try and do it layered. So I've got blocks here then. Do a layer of blocks in there. So it's got a fit thick bottom and a thick top and a thin middle bit but I'm not 100% sure yet and it's going to be the bridge over I said that a couple of times now but it's going to bridge then I'm going to do some stairs up here I'm going to just gonna flatten the whole area out probably going to flatten the place out or I might just do a, like a road area leading up to the castle this is over here so this is the layout so far so we've got walls going either side of it for now we've got this mountain up here so we just can't we can just stop it right there so people can't get through that easy got two towers here with a entrance way going to be here I'm going to try and do some redstone so we've got like a gate kind of thing happening and this is going to be the main house entrance so there's main hall rooms going off on the side it's going to be about two stories two three stories not too sure yet got to do some flatting out because I've got some caves around Areas like this corridor here. Yeah, I'm just probably going to span, try to span it out this way. Because so we've got this whole area here, this plateau here, which is going to be really nice. I think that's going to be extending it probably out to here a little bit. Like gardens or more new more buildings. Also, got a nice big cave there. So we can try and use that as well as a tourist attraction. I'm going to put swimming pools in as well. So I'm going to try to get this whole area filled in. I'm going to leave some of these hills here and there. But I'm going to see how it goes. See how it looks. If I have to take them out, I'll take them out. If I can leave. That's raining. Great. <coughs> so it's good. So if we take them out or leave them in, we'll have to decide at some point. But this is not going to be a full and build like one take. I'm going to start doing sections. So the towers going to be first, then the bridge, and then this section here. And then we're going to start on doing the actual house itself <coughs> and then as we go we're gonna be doing some more plans over that way as well so yeah I think that is snow as well let's fly down pretty much it set for the other building over here which is here it's gonna be our bungalow <coughs> so we've got a kitchen bedroom maybe bedroom then a toilet shower room a living room with kitchen could probably do a separate bathroom somewhere I don't know with a garden layer a <coughs> tiered garden with steps this pond here have like a park area here maybe so yeah we've got a couple of things to do got one major bit over there a little bit over here and then we've got to decide what we're going to do we'll be doing for the rest of the place so we're nearly nearly at the coast not run out of room got plus we've got, got that room over there got a room over there by the bridge got some room over here as well so yeah it's not too bad I'm getting there 
Okay, now we've got some islands over here. So we can do some really good uh, um, expensive housing over there if you want. Mansions and all that. Modern housing. So yeah, probably going to do some more shops at some point. Could do some more houses, shops on this area. Still have to do our town hall, which was going to be there, but I changed my mind. I don't know where we're going to put that yet. It's got to be central-ish. It's got to be grand. So it probably might be over this little island over here. Next, just you know, opposite of the library, probably. Somewhere over there. Have a bridge somewhere. Could have a bridge coming over that way. Yeah, but that is, that is for the future. Because at present we've got a lot of things to do and we've got to get on with it. So I will see you in the next video. So goodbye for now. Bye.